If you're not already, why not add relevant websites to your LinkedIn profile? LinkedIn profile is there to highlight your expertise, your career, your history, and what you're doing now. And one way to highlight it even more is to provide links that are relevant to your business or your profession. If you do have links to websites, make sure they're optimized to get the best results of people finding that information and being enticed to go there. So I'll show you that live in a minute, but this screenshot in front of you is basically where you would add the actual information uh, on LinkedIn. But here's the thing, there's options here to choose personal, company, blog, RSS feed, portfolio, or other. Now, a lot of people just uh, use these default ones and not optimizing the benefit. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile. I'm viewing it as a connection. In other words, if you were looking at my profile, this is what you would see. And if I come down to the contact info, click on that, the drop down, I've got my Twitter there, but I've deleted so I can show you how to add the uh, websites. So there's no websites being displayed. So I need to add those. To do that, I come up to the profile, come to edit. I click that. And now as I pass my cursor over these fields, you'll see the little pencils coming up showing that I'm in the edit mode. Once again, I come to contact info, I come down, and now you can see there's the website edit button. There's no websites there, but I can edit it. So I click that button. And so this is what comes up. So I can put the URL in here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this one here, take my Google Plus, and add that there. Now, what you can do, what some people do is just put personal website, and if they do that, it just says personal website. It doesn't say where it's going to, doesn't explain it. It could be also a company website and save that and that's what it'll look like so that's not very helpful it doesn't actually say specifically it's very generic so what I would do is click on that come down to other that's the important thing other and when you do that it opens up this other field to put your customized description in so I'm going to type L for Lance and it's going to put up my Google Plus. So I'm, I'm putting Lance School of Google Plus. That's the URL and that's the description. So if I save that, it now shows that and that's the great thing. Now I can add up to three URLs in here, whether it's a website, your own website, your company website, whether it's a blog, it's social media like I'm putting in. It doesn't matter, it can be a specific page, a particular video, a particular blog article, whatever it is you want to do, but be specific. Now, I'm gonna choose again, oh actually, before I do that, I need to get, copy this, this is my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm now gonna come down to other, and it opens up the field again so this time I'm going to type Lance and it's remembered Lance School of YouTube now I could put a third one in here but just to show you I'm going to save that and that's in the edit mode but now I'm going to come back and view my profile as someone looking in on it and so once again I'm looking at it as a connection I come down to the contact info and now I can highlight or see what they are. Lance Schooler G Plus for Google Plus and Lance Schooler YouTube. So I could click on that and go through to that 
YouTube channel and there it is. And this video will be going up on there shortly. So that's how you customize and create web links in your contact info. This is Lance Gula, the Savvy Navigator. All the best, Godspeed.